Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. I am back with a prophetic message that the Lord has put on my heart. It's based on a dream that I had on November 1st, 2022. Um, it was a beautiful dream. And I just want to welcome you back to the channel for the regulars. And if you are new, welcome. I just want to put this disclaimer out there, specifically if you are new, um, that not every prophetic message that I share is meant for you. So if you believe it is, just take it before the Lord and just get your confirmation from Him. Um, it's so important that you have that relationship with Him, that you're able to hear His voice and that you spend a lot more time in His presence than you do listening to everybody else tell you about what He's saying to you. It's so important that you're able to have that relationship with Him. Um, and you know, this word could actually be confirmation of something that he's actually been talking to you about, which is absolutely awesome. If you do have any questions or you need to understand more, definitely take that to him. Ask him the questions. I don't have those answers for you, uh, but he certainly does. And he loves spending time with you. Okay. So let's get into the dream. Like I said, I had it on November 1st. In the dream, I was with my sister and we were in the kitchen of my parents' house. And I remember that we were with somebody, a young man, and he was saying some things to us. And every time he spoke, we just laughed so much. He was just bringing us so much joy and laughter. It was the kind of laughter that, um, you know, it just comes from the belly. It's full of joy just feeling good it just felt so good right and when I looked again I realized that this young man was actually my uncle and um, it made sense because my uncle always had that effect on us growing up he always made us laugh just filled us with joy and then at some point, my parents came. Um, they arrived at the house. They had gone out. Um, it almost felt like um, they had done something unusual, like this was not the usual routine. And they were coming back from wherever they had been. And they had all these cars parked um, at the back where the garages are. But they also came with this car that was old. It felt like, you know, a car from the early 90s it was it was red in color and it just looked old and it also didn't have a roof it seemed um it appeared to not have a roof and then they were still going to bring in a, another car which was newer fresher and you know they were waiting to bring that in it was like right outside the gate so that was the dream and today, when the Lord was speaking to me about this dream, you know, he just, um, he just spoke about joy. He just said, you know, I'm bringing joy again to my people. So the Lord wants you to know that he's bringing joy back into your life, just joy and laughter. In the dream, you know, it was that young man making my sister and I laugh. And I believe that being with my sister just represents, you know, family in Christ, um, my brothers and sisters in Christ and how um you know just even with the young man that was there who eventually turned out to be my uncle um like I said my uncle was somebody who brought us so much joy when I was a child he was like this bright light in my life um he just blessed me so much the Lord used him um so significantly in my life to bring me joy um he passed away in august of 2010 which was hard um but you know it was his time and yeah he was just an amazing human being he made everybody laugh he was just so special he touched so many lives and you know I was so close to him. He was my closest friend, you know, um, for a period in my life when I was younger. Um, so 
seeing him in the dream realizing that oh it's not just some random guy it's actually him what the lord put on my spirit about that is that he is restoring relationships he's restoring things that were taken but he's doing it in a way um that replaces what once was so it's going to be the same thing it's going to be the same person it's going to be the same people for some of you but it's almost like their characters have been replaced with something better like they've changed and they look different in terms of who they are in their character but it's still the same person it's still the same people or they're still the same people and even with the car with the cars you know there was that red car that looked old and it didn't have a roof on so no protection just you know just a struggling car and then knowing that my parents had the other car that they were going to bring in that was newer more intact that one was white i forgot to mention that i just knew that that car was white and even the red that uh, of the older car it wasn't like a bright red you know it was dull it was an old car and um the Lord didn't really speak to me about the color, uh, you know, didn't speak to me significantly about the red. The white was representing just a purity, a purification process, and my parents representing, um, you know, the Lord, you know, Father and Holy Spirit, and how, you know, they're bringing this restoration, which looks like a replacement, but it's the same thing. A car is a car, right? So restoring those relationships those things that you lost that had brought you so much joy before and they're going to bring you even more joy and laughter and they are replaced in the sense of they look different than what they used to look like i pray that that makes sense to you guys and um there are about three scriptures that the Lord gave me for this word. And then I want to share something after I read the scriptures, you know, that happened this morning that was just, <laughs> only God can do that. Um, but I'll read the scriptures first and then I'll share. It's like a mini testimony. So the first scripture is Genesis 21 verse 6 and it says, And Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. And the next one is Job 8 verse 21. He will once again fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. And then we have Psalm 30 verse 11. You have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy. The Lord is clothing you with joy. He's taking away the mourning. He's bringing you into a time of real joy and laughter in the dream we were just so deeply joyful just laughing you know um with just complete freedom you know not worried about anything and just enjoying you know being around this person who is bringing us so much joy and um just want to share like I said this mini testimony that happened this morning so when I was waking up I was just laying in bed and just thinking about a particular situation in my life and just really you know speaking to God about it um, you know my eyes were closed I was just really just pouring my heart out to the Lord and then I saw the numbers 555 five, five, and I saw even more fives just a whole lot of fives you know just um, the lines and lines of fives and the Lord said you know favor favor you know the situation he's bringing his favor over me and the grace that also comes with that favor you know just grace also for the struggle because um, what I was talking to God about <laughs> is a tough situation you know really struggling to believe um that it would turn out well really struggling to hold on to my faith and just the lord reassuring me that his grace is upon me um, and that it covers me and so right after i saw all those fives all of a sudden there was this vision of a youtube video thumbnail and the title said it is over 
and I just thought wow it's over what's over but I didn't feel alarm it wasn't a negative it is over immediately my thoughts went to the number 17 I have been seeing the number 17 the past couple of days just double 17s you know 17 17 and I had actually been seeing that number probably um two weeks ago continuously every day then it stopped for about a week and then yesterday the day before yesterday and yesterday I started seeing the 17s again and I knew God was speaking about victory because that's the 17 is the number for victory and I just was like okay so after seeing that vision of that thumbnail and the words it is over I saw I started to think of that number you know the Lord brought that back into my spirit about victory well let me tell you what the Lord did. <laughs> I lay in bed and I was thinking, if I see a video come up on my timeline today with that title, it is over. Um, you know, I'm going to be completely like mind blown. So I carried on with my morning and not even two hours after, you know, getting up, I was on my... Um, I opened up YouTube and one of the videos that came up on the timeline is a video with the title, It Is Over, Walking in Your Victory and Freedom. Friends, you cannot orchestrate <laughs> such things. Um, so I felt led to share that because I feel like somebody needs to hear that, that whatever has been you know just plaguing you that thing that has been troubling you that has been so hard that um has just caused you a lot of grief and pain the lord is saying it's over walk in your victory you know he's saying that you have the victory because he fought on your behalf he dealt with the enemy so be encouraged the battle is over and victory is yours so that is the word today. I pray that that testimony blessed whoever it was meant for and the word as a whole, you know, that it's blessed whoever it's meant for. I'll catch you in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends, are so deeply special to him.